you're back in the room. A brand new game show. It's a hypnosis game show. It's hosted by Philip Schofield on ITV and it's been filming. Uh, this video has been recorded in uh, January uh, 2015 and they've shot uh, three out of the four episodes. The hypnotherapist, or he's not a hypnotherapist, I'm a, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. Um, the guy doing it is a chap, an Irish chap called Keith Barry, who is a hypnotist, which means he does stuff on stage, and a mentalist. Uh, he's a magician. He's great. He's a very charming chap. Uh, I can see why they've picked him for the show. And here's a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes. I won't go too much into the details of the show because that doesn't matter. You can watch that for yourself and you can see when it's when it airs the different kind of games. But the idea is there's five contestants and they compete to win £25,000 uh, in a series of games and then in a final. What's really interesting, of course, is that they're working together. Now, the reason that they work together and then they share the pot, however much they win, is quite simple. Because if uh, if you were on stage and you were hypnotised... And you had to compete against someone else, but in your mind was the idea that something would stop you from doing that, then you probably wouldn't do it. You probably would just compete for the money. But if you work as a team, then you can still kind of do those funny things. And that's because stage hypnosis is very different from the kind of hypnosis I do. I deal with people who suffer from stress and anxiety, helping them to end panic attacks. I help people to quit smoking and lose weight and end fears and phobias. In fact, there were snakes in uh, the, the filming of the episode last night, but I won't give too much away about that. But what happens on stage? What is hypnosis on stage? You've probably seen it where somebody gets tapped on the back of their head and told to sleep. And that's what they do. And why do they do that? Exactly for the same reason as you're probably thinking, because they've seen it, because there's a thing basically called compliance. If somebody asks you to do that, then you're going to do it. Now, of course, on television, even more so. Now, for back in the room, they had auditions across the country. They had several auditions. They had callbacks for people. And what were they looking for? Were they looking for people who were easily hypnotizable or were they looking for people who were suggestible? Now, what is hypnosis? Hypnosis is really just a very relaxed state. When you're relaxed, your mind's much more open to suggestion. And all I'm doing really with every client is teaching them to learn to let go, to be calm and to be relaxed. And often that just helps to solve all the other problems before we've even directly dealt with them. But that's the last thing you want on a stage. When you're on a stage, what do you want? You want people who will perform, people who will do exactly what you want them to do. And that's what they were looking for. So let's face it, the chance to be on television, the chance to do some silly things and also say, well, it wasn't my fault. I was hypnotised. And the chance to win money kind of stops you from being perhaps as uh, relaxed as you would be. When you see people on stage and there's hypnosis and often with a stage hypnosis show, they will get lots of people up and then they'll do some what are called convincers where they'll try some things, maybe getting people's hands stuck together or something like that. And then what they're looking for is not the people that are most relaxed. The most hypnotizable ones really are probably the ones that are relaxed, but they're just like this. And that'd be pretty boring. So they're looking for the ones that will do as they're told. And that means that you can't always believe everything that you see. So as an example, here's something that um, a lot of stage hypnotists have done in the past. Now, I'm not saying that they all do this, but I know for a fact that certain stage hypnotists have talked about this. They'll have people on stage and if they think someone's likely to play along, they generally do this with a man because men are more likely to be susceptible to this. They'll say they'll take their microphone away from themselves and they'll just whisper in the guy's ear whilst they supposedly are putting them in a trance. They'll say, if you play along, I'll give you 50 quid at the end. All of a sudden, the chap thinks, fantastic, he'll play along. He'll be Elvis Presley dancing with a broom or whatever. And then at the end, just before he wakes everybody up, the hypnotist will say, and to you, before you wake up, when you wake up, you'll be absolutely convinced that I offered you £50 to play along. And however much your friends tell you that that's not the case, you'll say, no, he really, really did say that until you're even not sure about it yourself. And of course, what he's done is he's shown the audience then in front of everybody who didn't see him offer the £50 <laughs> that the guy's going to go back and he's going to say, no, he did offer me £50. His friends are going to go, that's not true. We saw it, but of course they didn't see everything. Stage hypnosis is fantastic. It's very entertaining if that's what you want, but it's not really quite the same thing. I saw Paul McKenna years and years ago when he was doing his stage hypnosis before he moved on to becoming kind of a uh, wellness guru. And again, it was very entertaining. If you want to see some entertainment, you're back in the room. It's going to be a really entertaining show. And I think it's going to be a really big hit. 
But are they really hypnotized on your back in the room? There's lots of information. I've written a couple of blogs in this and the links are in uh, the description below this. And you can read a lot more about the kind of behind the scenes, what sort of things went on and whether people really are hypnotized. But enjoy the show. Keith Barry is great. Philip Schofield's a brilliant host. <laughs> 